Welcome to another episode of Comic Book Science Literally, where we're using an actual comic book to perform a science experiment. And today, we're going to be looking at the characters, you know, that create electricity, like Electro or this guy. I never really know how to pronounce his name. Mr. MXY Pitilik. Yeah. You see here, he's creating electricity. But a comic book on its own does not conduct electricity. And did you know that pure water does not conduct electricity neither? See, the light bulb is not shining. Okay, that means no electricity is able to go from one tip to another. But if you shred a comic book to pieces and put it in boiling water for about 10 minutes, then it will conduct electricity. Now let's try to shred a comic book. All right, so for this experiment, we're gonna need a shredder. No, not Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle shredder, this shredder. go. Putting this in here. And there. We let it sit for about 10 minutes. And the point is, in the comic book, yes, there's paper, but it's about like 50% pulp and 50% other chemicals in there. When the other chemicals mix and dilute, there are some ions that are forming. And the ions are what allows the current to flow. Just like whenever you put salt in water, it dissolves because table salt, sodium chloride, breaks into sodium plus and chloride negative. And that allows you to conduct electricity. If you put sugar in water, it does dissolve, but it does not transform into ion. That's why a sugary solution will not conduct electricity. Now, it's not because I said that the water, pure water, doesn't conduct electricity, that you could still swim at, swim at your public pool if the lifeguard tells you, hey, there's some lightning, get out. Because in that pool water, there is a lot of other chemicals, NP and stuff like that, and that conducts electricity. It's been stirring for one minute. Let's see if it uh, can conduct electricity. There you go. Shredded paper and boiling water is a comic book that will let your electricity flow. Until next time, keep on reading.